Rob, thank you so much for inviting me into your home. I guess the first question I have for you is, what is your issue? My issue is that lots of people have got guinea pigs at home and only buying one. So your issue is guinea pigs all by themselves? Yes, lonely guinea pigs. When we decided to get guinea pigs this year for my daughter, we went off and did some research, as you do. Oh, hello, Glitter. We then discovered that you have to buy guinea pigs in pairs because they're such social animals. You know, they're a great first animal for kids to pick up. They're just really sweet mm. and they're nice to cuddle. Yes. If you were a guinea pig, what name would you choose for yourself? Maybe Bert. Bert? Hmm. Well, look, what can I do to help? So we would like the Kiwi Nation mm. to stop selling guinea pigs singly, just only in pairs or more and happy. Well, do you know what? For Glitter and for Iris, and actually just for all guinea pigs, they're my new best friends, and I am determined to help them out. This could be the biggest smallest story of my investigative career and if there's one thing I've learned from Paddy Gower it's that it's crucial to get as many points of view as possible. Hello. Hi, what's your name? We're just doing a story about what it's like as a guinea pig to live by yourself or with others. I mean, what are your thoughts? And how long have you been living here? Okay, so maybe I should talk to someone who can talk. Dr. Christy Cameron, um, I'm going to get straight to it. As the guinea pigs couldn't or wouldn't tell me, could you translate for them, do they like to be kept alone? No. They're used to being in groups of 10 in South America, where they live in the wild. So living alone is, is not part of their behavioural repertoire. How many guinea pigs are kept as pets? Do we know this? About 38,000 households. 000. Okay. Yeah. How many people have got guinea pigs all by themselves? about 10% of those we surveyed. They live in groups in the wild, therefore we should, and we're obligated to have them living in at least pairs yeah. as, as, as pets. Okay, so you've obviously done quite a lot of research about guinea pigs. What's one of the, like, the craziest, most wild facts that you could tell me? I can make guinea pigs climb up a ramp yes. in one second. And they get up in one second? Yeah, they're really quick. Well, how do you do that? Well, I'll show you. Has it got a name for these races? What do you like? Is it like it's the GPGP, Guinea Pig Grand Prix. How do you feel, Bernard? I mean, that was pretty pretty good. Got anything you want to say to your fans? All right, I'm all in. Guinea pigs should not have to suffer alone. It's time this little piggy found some solutions. I heard rumours that Switzerland had some impressive guinea pig laws, so I called them up. The Swiss animal laws are known to be most some of the most progressive in on this planet. Can you please just tell me what is the Animal Protection Ordinance? It's some 200 plus provisions that lay down how to keep animals. So basically any animal that lives in Switzerland is covered by that. Yeah, you could say that, yeah. Well, I just did say it. I mean, what does it say specifically about guinea pigs? It's recognised that they're social animals, so since 2008 we have this norm laying down that they should be kept at least in pairs. We have a fine of up to 20,000 francs. It will be about 38,000 New Zealand dollars. That's a lot of cash. Yeah, would be a lot of cash. Well, that was fascinating. So Switzerland classifies keeping a guinea pig alone as animal abuse. But is it really? It's time for an experiment. I'm going to spend 24 hours alone in this cage in the basement of three to see if it really is that bad. OK, I'm ready. Hit the lights. Yeah, so I've been in here for a little while now. I think it's probably about, I don't know, maybe 8 o'clock. I'm, well, I'm feeling pretty good. It's not that roomy, but um, hey, I'm a guinea pig. I'm just going to make do. I really should have gone to the toilet. Um, but I guess, again, I'm, I've just got to live like a guinea pig would. Guinea pigs, they're so little and furry. I think that's the bit I did away in. Oh, gross. I guess I just, I'm really missing, like, people, having anyone to talk to. I feel very alone. Um, 
It's messing with my mind. I... That was the worst thing we've ever done. We can't let this happen to guinea pigs. A popular place to get guinea pigs is Trade Me. And they have single pigs listed all the time. So let's see if they can jump aboard the bandwagon to help the little pigs out. I asked Trade Me if they could update their website. All they had to do was add a couple of lines to their blurb, telling people to keep guinea pigs in pairs and groups. But they came back with a big old no, stating that it's important that prospective buyers do their due diligence to ensure they can provide the best care for the new family member. So Trade Me don't want to help us out. Surely there's someone that can do something. My first question for you is, are you pro or anti animal welfare? I'm pro animal welfare. We all need to look after our animals, our fur babies and, and the likes. Mm. And well, scale babies if it's yeah, fish. Yeah, if you've got a fish, yeah, yeah. Um, what does the Animal Welfare Act 1999 mm -hmm say about guinea pigs? Do you know it doesn't specifically talk about guinea pigs being kept solely on their own? Would it be possible to amend the Act so that it was more in line with the Swiss Animal Protection Ordinance? I think if guinea pigs became as popular as say cats and dogs as pets mm. then it could be worth a conversation and having with NAWAC, the National Animal Welfare Advisory Committee. But so what you're saying is that guinea pigs aren't as popular as cats and dogs? Well, I don't know that for a fact, to be fair, but... I People never say are. it's raining guinea pigs, though, do they? Well, no, that's true, they don't, so perhaps they're not as... you know. So I can't change the law and I can't change trade me, but I can change hearts. Let's go make life better for guinea pigs. Petstock is New Zealand's second biggest pet store chain. I need them to come on board. Am I right in understanding that Petstock helps to find guinea pigs new homes? Absolutely. Um, at Petstock it's really important. It feels a little bit weird that we're actually doing this interview without even seeing a guinea pig or holding a guinea pig. I mean, do, would you have access to, to Yes. To, how do you make sure, say, these guinea pigs are going to go to a good home? If a customer comes in and they're inquiring about a guinea pig, we do go through a little checklist with them just to ensure that they are going to be a suitable home and that they're going to be a forever home. Is there like a criteria in terms of how cool the name has to be? No, <laughs> they can be as creative as they like with the names, as long as they're I guess, socially acceptable. I've had an idea, I mean, Petstock would be able to do a two for one deal all of the time. So you always get two guinea pigs for the price of one. What about if we made it $80 for one, $40 for two? $80 for two, $200 for one. $200 for one. <laughs> What's some other ideas? What could we do? I think what would be a really great idea is if we get some decals made. What, sorry? Decals. Decals. What's that? Like a sticker that would go oh, onto yeah, the enclosure. Decals. Yeah, decals. Yes. Okay, so well, can we make these changes happen? I'll make the call. Can't Just give me that guinea pig. Yep, give me a little friend. Are you excited? Will you be re home together? Hope so. Great news. Yes. We've got these decals made that we're going to stick on all our small animal enclosures across pet stock wide. You know what this is? This is a result. Now, our guinea pig education is in every pet stock in Aotearoa. <laughs>